How's it going everybody? Robin here with Aries Fire Tarot. Welcome to the channel guys and I hope you're ready for your Monday March 8th daily tarot card reading. So guys welcome here. Um, <clears throat> I'm going with the pink hoodie again because I just could not decide what to wear and I thought well it'd be fun to do something. Uh, we have spring starting to break through here uh, in Canada where I live so feels a little bit fun but anyway I hope you guys are awesome and thanks for joining me um using the tarot of dreams deck to do this read for you guys and this is going to be for all zodiac signs so it doesn't matter um what your sign is <clears throat> if you are guided here to this video there's probably something in the reading for you so with that being said I'm going to do one more shuffle and I like to do a deck cut to get that first card so we've got the king of cups here so there's a definite depth of emotional connectivity available to you when you see this card um this guy's also the master of his emotions he's not going to have some sort of meltdown if the red light takes too long or you know just he's got it together very much so on an emotional level so you could be having somebody come in who's going to help you cope with something that is not so much fun or you guys are going to be able to embody the energy of the king of cups um i really just want you guys to look here at this part of the artwork and whatever the first thing that comes to your mind is, I think you want to write that down because it might have something to do later on in the week for you. It could be some sort of key or solace or mantra for you. So pay attention to that. It really was sticking out to me, but I was being guided to ask you guys to um, really pay attention to that. So King of Cups, <clears throat> really together guy and really balanced between divine feminine and divine masculine so he knows you know what kind of energy to put towards a situation and very seldom falters so this is a really really good card for you guys especially if you're coming into any sort of bad news or challenging situation or somebody wants to start some sort of argument with you and you're like you know here we go again but you put it all together and you just either walk past this person or ignore them or block them or you just say something very calmly you know so i i, I kind of envy that energy because i'm a irish aries and maybe not quite so pulled together as the king of cups but let's see what else is going on for you Okay, it's funny that I was saying that about having a very difficult or confrontational person to deal with because I got the five of wands here. So I do get the sense that this could be a fire sign. Um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and I'm an Aries. And, you know, sometimes they bark first and ask questions second. So they can be a little bit volatile sometimes to deal with. They're very outspoken um sometimes without an invitation so if this does happen to you or if you have somebody that is you know very well known for being a fire sign in your circle you might expect a little bit of a flare-up with them um but the five of wands and you can see everybody's kung fu fighting in the card right um but the five of wands is just biding your time until you say the right thing you know you just okay yeah go ahead are you done yet? You know, you can really manage the situation with this King of Cups energy or there could be somebody available to mediate for you. And this could be especially important for those of you that are going through any type of a separation or a divorce or, you know, a termination of employment. There could be somebody that you could really trust that is going to... <sighs> If not, they're, they're not going to have your back 100%, but they're not going to allow you to get thrown underneath the bus either, you know. Um, you know, so that's a really good thing too. You have a really solid, like, water sign, and that is Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. But it could be just somebody with that King of Cups energy, and even better if it's you. So you can learn how to have these conversations yourself without relying on somebody else. So you do have the moon card here for you guys. And this is, 
This is a very interesting card. So the first thing that struck me is this here, and I'm sure it's meant to represent the moon, but it really strikes me as being very similar to the wheel card, you know, the wheel of fortune, the fortune's wheel. It depends what deck you're dealing with. Um, I'll zoom out. So whatever confrontation is going on back here with this five of wands and the king of cups, it's actually going to move you ahead further. So that's why the patience of the king of cups is necessary for you guys. So you can just kind of let it blow over. Um, you know, let somebody blow their steam off and then, and then you can deal with them or this mediator person can deal with them. So the moon really wants you to focus on your intuition and see beyond that blustering presentation. You know, some people just, they don't have any other way to express themselves other than to pop, you know, and they probably waited a long time time to say something and a little too long, in my opinion, from what I'm seeing here with the King of Cups and the Five of Wands. They have just been like gritting their teeth and they're telling themselves that they've been really patient um, and they're under a lot of pressure. So it could just be something you say or do or just showing up that is going to trigger them. Um, so just remember this stuff too. And you guys can really look deeply into this person. Um, you have these spirit animals. This one looks more like a German Shepherd than a wolf. So this is a really strange combination. So it seems like this person that you're dealing with is still a little bit on their developmental. They're still in the wild a little bit. You know what I mean? Um, you guys are a little bit more domesticated. You know how to behave yourself. You're potty broken and all of that good stuff. So use your intuition to really look at that. And another thing about dogs, you know, they can instantly tell what mood you're in and they do provide solace. So you're being asked to kind of really tolerate somebody that is not at their best right now. So you're going to be able to see past all of that. Um, very interesting and it could be even though they're opposing you you know and they could be the one ending your employment situation or they want to end a relationship again I'm, I'm really seeing strongly like separation papers or divorce papers or some sort of uh decree money is involved something like that and you're still stronger than them and you're still going to somehow emotionally support them so this is like the absolutely most beautiful thing that a person can do. You know, even in, in when somebody is giving you a hard time and you understand them and you're like, everything's going to be okay. You know, I think that's a really beautiful energy. So you should be proud of yourself if, you, if you're able to do that. Um, but some of you will need the help of a mediator to get through this situation. So let me just pull another card here for you this is really crazy okay so you've got the world card and this is like this sense of accomplishment it's really funny i was seeing the wheels fortune fortune wheel of fortune fortune's wheel look how similar this is so this is a, an accomplishment this is really going to be a test at your level um in order for you guys to move up further and this is this world card is particularly um I find it just really so elemental it represents you know air water fire and earth and that's all the elements of tarot so it's like you guys could be coming into this next level sort of wizard mode you know what I mean and this can sort of activate a different faction of your magic because you're so in touch and this could be what the universe is waiting to see in you when you have mercy on your attacker or underminer somebody that just really doesn't wish you well and you're able to turn around and send them love so the universe is going to move you up to the next level in the game of life. 
So I'm really, really fascinated by this reading here. So let me know if this is a situation that you guys are experiencing. And sometimes it's going to happen a few days and sometimes even a few weeks, depending on who you are, right? And what's going on in your life. So this is very interesting, very interesting here. So you guys are just going to come out like, like really proud of yourself and thinking, well, I really, really handled that well. And you might have not have been able to do this about a year ago. So really cool cards. So let's see what happens for you guys tomorrow. And I'm going to wrap it up. Love and light. Bye for now. Bye.